This piece that I love so much, this is the only major work written by Leonard Bernstein for a violin and orchestra called The Serenade. It is loosely uh, based on the symposium by Plato. And there are seven philosophers who are gathered together uh, to talk about love. And of course, this question of love, what is love? Bernstein expresses this different types of love um, as being expressed by the different philosophers. It is a piece that touches very deeply inside, um, has a lot of exciting components to it, has also very sweet, uh, dramatic, tragic, um, sometimes violent. It is actually very theatrical at times and um, also very romantic, uh, very beautiful, very touching. I played it last with Bernstein, um, the year he passed away. I believe it was the second to the last performance that he gave. And then, since then, it was very difficult for a long time to pick it up and to play it again. And then, of course, I'm rediscovering it and how I felt this piece as a 13-year-old when I first learned it. As a 13-year-old, I had no idea. I'd never played this style of music. I had never read the symposium at that point. I tried. I did read through the words, didn't really understand it, but tried. I tried to do my best. But through playing the piano part, the accompaniment, singing it, showing it to me, and just inspiring me, Bernstein taught me this piece. It was such a special opportunity. And now, of course, when I work with different composers and I work with young musicians, I think about my start of working with a great mentor. I think about what it was like to work with my first composer. There is something always to be discovered in playing a piece of music that I have played for a long time. And this piece, uh, The Serenade by Bernstein, is no different. A piece is written, and then it's premiered. It comes out to the world. And then the better the piece, the stronger the piece, it then takes off on its own, and it becomes a piece of its own.